What is up, guys? Dan for Playbook.gg. In today's video, we're going to show you a sneak preview of our ant cap gun doubles offense that we just dropped on the website. Before we dive into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the great tutorials that we've got headed your way here on the Playbook.gg YouTube channel. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, in today's video, we are going to show you a sneak preview of the gun doubles formation. This is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook, and this is a formation that Ant Cap is currently running in the LCQ, and he is doing a phenomenal job of really spacing the field with quick reads that are intended to attack the blitz meta, and it's going to open up some of the best deep passing concepts in the game that are going to get your players wide open for a touchdown. Now, in this particular video, we're going to show you one of his probably two or three base plays that he uses as the majority of his offense to set up the rest of the game. So uh, with this tip, we're going to be taking a look at the play SE dig. Now, with this play, you want to make sure that you have uh, probably your speediest receiver as your outside receiver. So for the Bucks, that's going to be Rashad Perriman. Uh, we're going to show you why here in this particular video. Uh, he'll be able to be unbumpable in this tip for a one play score, very similar to a tip that we put out earlier on the channel this week out of the spread series. So uh, let's go ahead and break it down. SE dig. And this is going to be something that you can run against that heavy blitz meta. So many players, as you guys know, love to go ahead and blitz all their linebackers. They base the line, then they press over and over and over until all their linebackers basically show blitz. And then they're going to run, you know, like a seven man contain rush. And then typically speaking, they just go ahead and they put this guy, they make sure that he's not misaligned. And then what they end up doing is they either lurk right here with this guy or they lurk right here with this guy, depending on what they prefer, strong side or weak side user. So let's go ahead and show you what this tip is. Offensively, what we're going to do, block the running back, and then we're just going to hitch the slot receiver. This is a very simple setup. So you could basically quick snap this and attack the heavy blitz. Uh, before they can really adjust their coverage too well. So uh, what you're going to notice is that if you know they're using the left side, the tight end is going to be wide open on his little snag route. This snag route cuts up the field at about a 45 degree angle, and then he turns around and shows the numbers. What we're going to do against the heavy zone blitz, we're going to go ahead and throw that ball to him before he turns around. So you're going to see what I'm talking about right here. We're just going to throw that ball off the line, possession, catch it, pick up a gain of about seven to 10 yards. This is something you're going to be able to do very, very consistently. And what it leads to, typically speaking, is your opponent having to go ahead and manually guard that. So we'll go ahead and show you what I mean here. We're in that cover four. Everyone likes to run this blitz out of cover four. And then they make sure that they're not misaligned over here on this side. So now let's say that they go ahead and they're sitting on the tight end with this user. To simulate that, I'll go ahead and place man coverage and just kind of be on the Quisky Tart. Um, not gonna worry. You're, basically, this is just simulating the user because I don't have two sets of hands to uh, run both controllers. But again here, now, in this situation, say they manually jump Howard. Now you're going to go ahead and look at this hitch right here. So while Ward was kind of standing there, keep in mind that obviously the computer would drop that off. We'll go ahead and illustrate that for you one more time here. So we'll set up this defense, uh, get them all to show blitz, and then align our corners. And then I'll just go ahead and click off right here. So uh, now we'll go ahead and set this up again. So again, it's just block the running back, hitch your slot, and you're going to go ahead and just throw that ball right there. Boom, little seven yards underneath on the left side. So the reason this is so tough to defend is very clearly because the spacing of the two hitches. This isn't a situation where you've got, you know, hitches in both slots and your opponent can fake one way and then somehow lurk the other way. Uh, this is one of those things where that tight end route releasing outside and upfield will carry the user drastically away from the other hitch. So if they take a false step to user one, the other one's open. If they take a false step at all, both are pretty much going to be open. So um, that's the way that people are going to uh, struggle to user this. So what they're going to end up doing is they probably end up going back into, because you're throwing hitches, they're going to go into more of that pinch buck O alignment. So uh, you guys know what I'm talking about where they're running a man blitz meta. So if they start to man blitz you off of this, this is where you get the unbumpable to the uh, the B receiver. So this is where you're going to be able to, uh, what eight cap will oftentimes do in this tip is he will motion this tight end opposite and he'll block him just to give you seven blockers for seven rushers. And then he's going to look for Perriman to get behind that man coverage. Now, actually right there, Richard Sherman got a pretty good press animation, but still you see how even with a press animation for a player that doesn't have release and deep route running, you still are able to get behind the man coverage. That typical press animation results with that player getting a step and getting over the top of the press animation pretty consistently. So you see right here how he just gets behind it. Um, even though he isn't on bumpable, he's able to get over the top. Now, this is where you do want to have a player that does have a decent release rating and also has decent uh, route running. So 
we'll show you what I mean right here. We're looking at the release in deep route running. On all Madden, you're looking for 86, I believe it is. You want 86 release, 86 deep route running. So this is a player like right here in Mike Evans that can be unbumpable on this pretty consistently. On all pro, the thresholds are higher. Um, I want to say that you have to get into the 90 with the deep route running to really get the unbumpable release. So obviously you're going to become unbumpable. If you guys did not see the tip on the unbumpable route earlier in this week in the spread series, we showed that to you and showed how easy it is to get that guy wide open against the press coverage. Now, then what they're going to do is they're going to decide, okay, well, I I'm done with this. I'm going to go ahead and just play drop zone coverage. And they start to do that. So we'll go ahead and show you what I mean here. Same setup. And you're going to be able to, with this play, get your deep dig route. This is the route that is so hard to stop. This deep dig route gets over the top of any hook zone in the game, but stays flat underneath the deep zone. So we'll go ahead and show you right here. This is one of those things where they're going to have to sit on those hitches and kind of lurk those underneath. But because this deep dig route breaks it like 18 yards or so, as you can see, the ball spotted here on the 40. And he's cutting over the middle at basically the opposite 40. So we're talking a good 20 yards or so down the field. He works that deep area in the middle of the field so well. And this is a route that must be manually guarded. So you're going to be in a situation where depending on what type of coverage they're in, you're going to be able to kind of, um, you're basically going to be able to kind of um, just take that throw. You're going to be able to steal this throw over the middle. Again, guys, this is one of the base plays for Ant Caps, you know, Tampa Bay, gun doubles game plan. This is live currently on Playbook GG right now. Highly recommend you guys check this out. I've watched him play some games kind of on a, a creep account, or not a creep account, but a creep stream just to kind of watch him as he plays against some of the best players in the world. And he is doing a phenomenal job of dealing with the heavy blitz meta. Again, this is just one of so many plays. We're talking two hours of content. He runs this formation exclusively. He is an absolute surgeon and you guys can be as well. You guys can get this game plan as well as every other piece of content on playbook.gg right now for $9.95 subscription per month. You can cancel at any time. There is no lock-in rate. You're not locked in for any amount of time. But if you guys do want to sign up for a full year, you will save yourself two months worth of the subscription uh, cut off of that price. So we appreciate all the continued support here on the YouTube channel. Hope you guys will check us out on the website. If not, that's fine. We'll see you guys right back here tomorrow with another free tip. Get in the lab and good luck. If you like this video, check out one of the videos on your screen right now. And for more in-depth analysis, visit www.playbook.gg for detailed game plans written by pro Madden players. Master the game with playbook.gg.